we're back here in Pittsburgh for the Hokies and the Pitt Panthers. Bill Roth along with Mike Burnup. They're having the coin toss on the things. They have the created turnovers and they made the best of it and won the game. Tyrone Drakeford and Dwayne Thomas are deep to return the opening kickoff. It's a very high and very short kick. It's going to come out to the 11-yard line. On the run, Drakeford runs up the middle of the 20, cuts left of the 25, gives ground now, turns the corner. Left sideline's 30 and ahead to the 32-yard line. Drakeford took the short kickoff on the run. And he brought it out of the 32-yard line. Marie I like that mustard you had on your pretzels yesterday. <laughs> Okies go out of the I formation. Twin receivers to the left. First play of the game from their own 32-yard line. Sanders comes in motion near side. First play is a handoff, and Dwayne Thomas rips it up the middle to the 35, still going to the 36-yard line. Panthers gang tackle him, and Moody, defensive end out of New Jersey, makes the tackle, but it's a on offense tonight. We'll talk about that more as the game goes on. Three receivers, no tight end. Second down and six from the 35. DeShazo, a straight drop, good protection. Throws left sidelines. It's caught by Thomas, and he's hit hard out of bounds on the 41-yard line. Again, Williams makes the tackle. He's their starting right center defensive lineman here on third down and short. And here's a running play. Joe Swarm, the fullback, parrels off left tackle, first down tech. Good running by Swarm. He was tripped up by Halepin, the defensive lineman, but Joe has his first carry of the day. Good blocking that time now on their own 44-yard line. First down. Panthers in a 4-3 alignment defensively. Sanders comes in motion near side. Here's the snap. DeShazo hands the football off to Dwayne Thomas, and this time the Panthers' defensive line is there to knock him down, and it is Tom Tumulty, the fine linebacker from Penn Hill, the 45. Freeman wide left, Sanders wide right. Here's an option play to the right. Maurice pitching and a fumble. Loose football. Thomas will pick it up, and he dropped it again, and the Panthers have it on the 42 of Tech. Thomas tried to pick it up and run with it, and Simpson recovers. Gerald Simpson comes up with a Dwayne Thomas fumble. He fumbled it in front of the bench. I thought he had come up with the ball. They announced the down is going up against Hank Coleman here on first down, not against his brother Cornell. Cornell's on the left side of the tech line. Ruben is on the left side of the pit offensive line, so they're on opposite sides here. First and 10 on the 43-yard line. The quarterback, Ryan, first down throw over the middle, has the tight end of the 30, down to the tech 20. First down, pit to the 19-yard line. A quick hitter on first down. Bill Davis coming over the middle has a big gain of the checked off on the play and just hit the hot receiver on that quick post pattern. It was a great game for Pitt. From the 19 yard line, Pitt has three receivers in the game. Backs are in the eye. Quick snap, handoff Curtis Martin runs off the left tackle to head to the Tech 16 yard line. Dwayne Knight came in there to make the tackle. The redshirt senior. It's a gain of around three. Defense tested early here. Four receivers and a single setback now for Pitt. No tight end. Hokie show blitz. Man in motion to the near side. Here's a handoff to Curtis Martin. Del Rico is there to knock him down. Three-yard loss. Great play. George Del Rico read it very nicely, and he got Curtis Martin the fine Pittsburgh tailback in the backfield and threw him down. Back at the Dietrich Chells, the flanker wide to the left. Their top receiver man-on-man -on, -man on the near side against Tyrone Drakeford. What a good matchup that is. Third and 10 on the 19, there's the snap to Ryan. A straight drop, Hokies come to get him, he throws, and it's batted down by Henley. A marvelous play intended on the far side for Bill Davis, and Henley made a big league play going over the top to bat for two last week against Southern Miss, so he's not made one in his career. This is a 36-yard attempt. He's a soccer-style kicker. From the middle of the field, a high snap, and the kick by Callum Anethis is on the way and good. It is a 3-0 pit lead as the Dwayne Thomas fumble leads the three points, taking a 3-0 lead over the Hokies. And our coverage continues from Pittsburgh after we pause to hear this word from Subaru. Game, they had to come back. It was a short drive for Pitt, four plays, 43 yards with that 36-yard field goal. And Pitt leads 3-0, 11-13 left in the first quarter. Another kickoff, and again, it is very short but high. Drakeford waiting for it. This time takes it on the run of the 5. Comes up the middle of the 10 to the 15. Hurdles a man at the 20, ahead of the 25. And out of the 28-yard line, the tackle was made by Chuck McCray. A 24-yard return for Drakeford, and the Hokies get their second offensive beginning at 3. Hokies from the right hash mark now on their own 28-yard line. The wide side of the football field here is to the left. First down, running play. Dwayne Thomas off left tackle, spinning as he runs across the 30, ahead of the 32-yard line. Halepin tripped him up, but Thomas fell ahead. Gave up the field goal, so that's a pretty good job by your defense, putting him in a position that way. 
Here's an option play to the left side. Maurice this time running, turns the corner to the 40. Late pitch, Thomas down the sidelines. He goes across the 48 to the 49-yard line and pushed out of bounds by Doug Whaley of Pitt. Well, I come about Frank Beamer and Ricky Bustle calling the plays. Thomas fumbles. They come the football first down on their own 49-yard line. Now for the first time, out of a pro formation, the backs are side by side. There's the snap to DeShazo, a straight drop. Looking right, going to fire it deep for Freeman. He's open, but the ball is overthrown and incomplete. Freeman had run by the corner, Jay Jones, but the ball was a bit overthrown. It will be second down and 10. Makes Pitt at least respect you. Second down and 10, again from the 49-yard line. Wide side of the field is to the right. Here's a toss sweep that way. Dwayne Thomas running hard, gets a great block, and bowls over a man to the Pitt 45-yard line. Well, he talked about great blocks now. Swarmy, he threw it. Looks like his elbow's hurting some. You're right. He is replaced in there by John McCray. Third down, five yards to go. The ball in the pit, 46. DeShazo, a straight drop. Guns it quickly over the middle. Right side now, Thomas has it at the 40 throw. First down, ahead to the Pittsburgh 36-yard line. Roderick Humphrey made the tackle for Pitt, but DeShazo, who completed his first 9.23 to go, turning clock in the first, Pittsburgh 3, Virginia Tech nothing. Here's a running play. Thomas starts left, goes right, hurdles a man to the Pitt 38-yard line where he's knocked down by Roderick Humphrey again. It'll be a slight game on the play from the left side for Pitt. Hokies have second and seven on the 33. It is Shazo, a quick count, rolling left, scrambling now, looking to throw. Maurice on the run, pump fakes and throws. It is deflected and then caught by Sanders on the pit 18-yard line. The pass was deflected, and Sanders came back and caught it. First down, Tech. Boy, good uh, heads-up play from Sanders. Shazo. Tech keeps the drive alive. On the 18-yard line now, first and 10 for the Hokies. Here's another running play and swarm the fullback. Barrels behind Jim Pine, down to the pit 15-yard line, ahead to the 14. Joe Swarm running very hard. Good drive to putting together here on the 15-yard line. Now the tight end, Burke, lines up as a slot man to the right. And the Hokies run the option left to Shazo, keeping to the 10-yard line, fakes right, runs left. Still going down to the 8-yard line, a head first dive to the 6. Whaley made the tackle. It should be another first down for Tech as DeShazo made the right decision. Freeman and Sanders are on the right. The back, Swarm and Thomas are side by side. First and 10 on the seven yard line and DeShazo calls time. So there was something there that confused. Ball is on the seven yard line of Pittsburgh. On the left hash again, the backs are in the eye. First and goal, here's a running play. Thomas up the middle, running behind Pine across the five to the four yard line. Halepin the tackle for Pittsburgh. Five extra yards, so wisely he called timeout. Out of a power eye formation, second and goal to Shazo, rolling right, throwing on the run, and it is dropped down. It was an easy touchdown for Tommy Edwards, although the ball was a bit behind him, and he dropped it. Oh, Thomas had it, or rather, Edwards had it in his hands there, but he couldn't win the game at guard for Virginia Tech. Big Third play. down and goal on the four-yard line. Here is DeShazo handing to Tommy Edwards, running left, dead into the goal line. Did he get in? No, he didn't. Oh, what a great play by the linebacker, Chavis, to hold him up. Right at the goal line, Edwards was pushed back. It is fourth down and goal inside the one-yard line. The Hokies might have six inches for a touchdown. So Virginia Tech coach Frank Beamer says, go for it, men. Fourth down and inches inside the one-yard line. DeShazo hands to Edwards. He dives over the top. He is in. Touchdown, Tommy Edwards. And Tech has taken the lead. Boy, that was certainly easier than you thought it might be, Mike. Right over the left side of that line. And Edwards has his third touchdown as a Hokie. Give, X, give that credit to the offensive line, the left side. Who missed two of five PATs a week ago in to attempt the extra point. A good snap, and the kick by Ryan sails through, and the Hokies have taken a 7-3 lead. A very impressive drive. Homecoming weekend. This year's theme is Back to the Future, and there are many fun activities planned, highlighted by a laser show. Tech was down three to nothing. They now take the lead, 7-3, 6-0-2 left here in the first quarter. Ryan Williams will kick the ball back to Pitt. Dietrich Jells, a dangerous return man waiting for it. Here's the kick by Ryan, high and short, fielded on the six-yard line. Jells comes up the left hash mark to the 10 to the 15. Dwayne Knight is there. Dwayne Knight going to knock him backwards. Jells trying to still run, however, and the Hokies get him again on the five-yard line. Originally, the whistle blew out near the 15. He Pitt three. The backs are in the eye behind the quarterback, John Ryan. He's out of Boardman, Ohio. A redshirt sophomore, 6'3", 195. A long count for Ryan trying to draw Tech off sides. Here's the snap and a first down throw to the left flat. It's nearly intercepted and then dropped by Dwayne Knight. Oh, Mike, that was very, very reminiscent 
to a play last year that Ken Brown had at Rutgers. If he holds it, he easily walks into the end zone for it. Would have been an easy six. Now it's second and ten. The Hokies certainly confused Ryan there. He had believed it was a blitz all the way, and then Tech backed out of it. Second and ten on the 17-yard line. A single setback. It's a run-and-shoot formation with four receivers. The running back is Martin, and he tries to run off right tackle, and he is snowed under by the Hokies' Jeff Holland. Mike, it's very hard to run the ball inside. Curtis Martin, three carries, zero yards. Third and ten. Here's a swing pass to Martin. A one-handed catch at the ten. The Hokies knock him down. Drakeford with a big tackle. It's a completion, but no gain. What a play by Drakeford. Well, you talk about an All-American candidate making a big time. He's on his own four. The return man, Freeman, is on his 40. Tech has 10 men on the line, although the Panthers spread the field with two wideouts on their punt coverage squad. Here's the snap, and Leon, the punter, puts his right foot into it. It's a short kick. Freeman hits, uh, watch it hit at the 45-yard line and hits off the back of Michael Williams. And fortunately, the Hokies' Freeman is there to fall on it. A very, very big break there for Tech. Williams not realizing how. And boy, they got a break there. Good heads up play by Freeman after it did bounce off Williams. Hokies ball again. Here's first down running. Going up the middle is Renal White for Tech. Across the 44 to the 47 yard line. Moody made the tackle for Pitt at seven, Pitt three. Backs are side by side now. Edmonds and Renal White. Twin receivers to the right. DeShazo, quick drop. Play action throw. No, it's a handoff on a draw to Edmonds, and he's knocked down a yard behind the line of scrimmage. Brian Edmonds knocked down by on the Hokies 45 yard line right in the middle of the field the pit logo written in script on this turf Hokies going left to right DeShazo a straight drop flushed out of the pocket and running across the 45 to the 50 first down to the pit 45 and out of bounds right in front of John Majors on the pit 41 yard line that's what makes DeShazo so dangerous no one was open but he picked up two yards on the day now from the 41 yard line of Pittsburgh first and ten Still is in the game for the first time. Wide to the left. Out of the eye. Tech runs the option. DeShazo keeping. Running left. Pitches late. Wide around the corner to the pit 35. And out of bounds after a gain of nearly 10 on the 30. Maurice Williams made the tackle for Pitt. If it's not a first down, it'll be just inches shy. They're going to game 7-3. to three. They scored a long touchdown drive earlier. A first down throw for DeShazo. Fakes right, throws left. It's caught by Thomas at the 30. Gets a block and goes ahead to the pit 25-yard line before Tumulty chases him down from behind. Good play by Tumulty. It's still a gain of five. Second down and five. Ball is on the Pittsburgh 25-yard line. Here's a toss sweep near side. Dwayne Thomas cuts up the middle to the 30, down to the 20. Open wheel to the 15. Still going at the 10. Stays on his feet inside the five and dives head first to the one where he is down. What a spine-tingling run by the Hokies' Dwayne Thomas. Maurice Williams saved a touch. Deserves the TD here. First and goal on the two-yard line. Thomas running up the middle, puts his head down and takes it in. Touchdown, Tech. Dwayne Thomas, a two-yard touchdown run on the Hokies for the second consecutive drive, have taken it right at Pitt. And the Hokies now lead it by a score of 13-3. And Ryan Williams is in to attempt another extra point. Boy, Thomas deserved that one. He had been the work. Attempt the extra point. 61 yards now for Dwayne Thomas on 10 carries. Extra point is on the way, and it is good. And Tech now leads this game. Four Western Pennsylvania and Pennsylvania Blue Shield. Cameron, Coca-Cola, Fruit Truck, Pittsburgh area, Chevrolet Tech leading 14 to 3. Ryan Williams to kick it back to Pittsburgh. And the straight on kicker hits a high pop up. Dietrich Gels, the return man waiting for it, has it at the 10 and fumbles, gets it back, runs out to the 15 yard line where he's knocked down. Boy, Gels, fortunate to get that ball back. Willie Wilkins made the tackle for Virginia Tech. Okies have the, of the Tech Network stay when visiting Virginia Tech. Hit ball on its own 15-yard line. First down and 10. A minute 53 to go in the first quarter. First down play. Curtis Martin hakes the handoff, and the Hokies are there to snow him under. Big time play by Del Rico again, whose family is here to see the game. Del Rico came in at a minute 21 to go in a turning clock first period. Run and shoot formation again for Pitt. Four receivers, one back, no tight end. A long count for Ryan. Tech shows blitz, but doesn't come. Ryan to throw, lets it fly, right side, it's caught and then dropped, incomplete. It was caught initially by the receiver, Davis, but Tyrone Drakeford 
crushed him, and the ball popped free, incomplete. Let's do Michael Shaw in the booth as well, assisting this evening. Bill Nevin is our producer. Third down and 12 for Pitt. Ryan attempting to throw, and he throws it well out of bounds. He tried to hit Dietrich Gels on the near side, and again, Mike, Tech showed blitz and then dropped into zone, and there was no hot. And Tech's defense again holds as Pitt will have to punt. Out of the end zone, 37-yard effort for Leon on his first attempt. Now a man getting in late for Pitt. The 25-second clock still hasn't started, so Pitt got a break there. The punter is in his end zone. Freeman is on the Tech 45, set to return this kick. Here's the snap. Hokies have the return set up. Leon hits it high, but again, it's very short. Freeman comes up, takes it on the pit 47, returning to the 40, down to the 35-yard line. A penalty marker comes in late. Penalty marker down. Mooring made the tackle on Freeman. Let's see what this by Edwards and Thomas, and the Hokies lead 14-3. Now from their own 40-yard line, first down and 10. DeShazo tosses on the left to Edwards, starts up the middle, then runs left, turns the corner to the 44-yard line, and out of the 45, Williams again made the tackle. It'll be a five-yard gain for Tommy Edwards, 38. Last score, all the Hokie fans across the way, hooping and hollering. Second down, DeShazo fakes a throw to the right, throws it left. Edwards breaks a tackle at the 50. There he goes down the left sidelines. Tommy Edwards to the 40, to the 30, stays in bounds. He's going to take it all the way. Touchdown, Tech. Tommy Edwards takes it all the way, and the Hokies have scored again here in this first quarter, their third touchdown of the period, and the freshman, Edwards, has as his Someone on the pit bench got too close, or rather the tech bench got too close to the sidelines, maybe. A high snap, Shields puts it down. Ryan boots it through, and Tech has scored Pittsburgh three. Now let's hear this from your local four dealer. What was that, 55 yards? 55 yards. 55 yards. Leads 21-3, and the Hokie maroon-clad fans across the way are hooping and hollering and having a good time. Here's Ryan Williams to kick it off again. Dietrich Gels, the dangerous return man from his own six. Starts out across the 10 to the 15 to the 20. Dwayne Knight got him by the face mask and dragged him down. Penalty marker throw. Dwayne grabs his own helmet. He realizes he made a mistake there. That could be a big penalty. That's the end of this. They had 22 yards in the first quarter. Yeah, but I, yeah, I don't want to wait. Pitt had 20. Well, because that penalty was against Tech, Pitt will get an additional play before the first quarter ends. They did take the break, but Pittsburgh now has one last play. No time on the clock, and a throw to Gels, and Scott Jones makes the tackle on the 37-yard line. That is a gain of two. The offensive plays, these are unofficial, of course, but Tech had 27 plays. Pitt had 11 plays. So come out and see the 73 NIT champs. First play of the second quarter, Curtis Martin to Pitt runs across the 40 to the 48 and across the 50-yard line. A good run for Martin. Henley made the tackle on the Pitt tailback, but it is a first down for the Panthers on the Hoke. Oh, but Tech dominated since. Now Pitt on the Tech 48, a quick drop for Ryan. Fake short, throws it deep. Man is open, man is there. It is caught by Gels. Down the sidelines he goes. A first down to the four-yard line. Antonio Banks made the tackle on the Pitt big play man, Dietrich Gels, the junior flanker. Jails go on the three-yard line. 30 seconds into the second quarter. Here's the snap. And a quick throw for Ryan on the run. Let's it fly, and it is overthrown in the end zone. Hokies came with pressure. Del Rico forced him to throw. The pass was intended for Belly. Panthers go out of a power eye formation. Three backs, double tight end, no receivers. Here's a running play. Martin tries to hurdle over the top. He gets a yard on the play from the five to the four. Jeff Holland, the Virginia Tech defensive tackle, the sophomore from Chesapeake, made the tattoo. Ball is on the left hash mark. Quarterback John Ryan takes the snap. Tried to hand it off and did, but the Hokies there in a collision in the backfield. Tackle the man backing him up outside the 10. What happened on that play? Maurice Wash fake. Callum Anidis will attempt the field goal. This is a short one, 22 yarder. And the kick is airborne, and it is good. So the Hokies hold Pittsburgh to a field goal, and again, Callum on the Virginia Tech Sports Network. Catches it in stride. Tech's defense holds there, stiffens up, and only gives up the field goal. Tech still leads 21 6, 12 56, 12 56 left here in the second quarter. 
Okies have a uh, return team set up there, and Tyrone Drakeford is back there along with Dwayne Thomas. It'll be Thomas to return this kickoff. Starts up the middle of the 10, crosses the 15 and 20. Panthers meet him there. He falls ahead of the 24, tackled by John McCray. Well, in that first quarter, officially. First quarter, yes. First and 10 on the 23-yard line for Tech. Here's more running. Up the middle goes Edmonds, I believe, yes. Ahead to the 28, first down to the 30. Or rather, ahead first dive, shy of the first down to the 30. Yard for Tech on the 30. Now, whistles stop. What a day with some scores. Mm. Great game between Notre Dame and Michigan. We'll have the Great details. Game, Penn State. Yeah, Chris Lawrence at halftime. Here's a running play left side. There goes Tommy Edwards crossing the 35 to the 38-yard line. Tumulty came over to make the tackle, but again, the left side of that Tech offensive line doing a great feel good. Three minutes into the second quarter, Tech 21 6. Here's a running play. Edwards up the middle. Stiff arms, a man of the 40, ahead of the 45 yard line, a gain of five. Maurice Williams, a familiar name to Tech fans. In that backfield was here also tonight, Vince Russo. Second and five on the 45. Option right to Shazo. A bad pitch over the head of Thomas. Caught it anyway. Went back and got it. Turns the corner, gets back to the line of scrimmage, and that in itself is remarkable. Moody made the tackle. The pitch from DeShazo hit off the 46. Single setback. Slot man to the left. Twin receivers to the left for Pitt. Brian still in motion from left to right. DeShazo the snap. Rolling out left, looking to throw. Stops and fires it deep. Way down the field. This pass is overthrown and incomplete. Cornelius White was the intended. Snuck in, didn't you? No, my uncle, who was a <laughs> Pitt alumnus, brought me. It didn't always used to be like this with all these. Do something to welcome Johnny back, like have a buy one, get one free sale or something. But <laughs> it is a pretty good crowd, though, for the people that have been here a while. They say it is a good crowd. First down for Tech. Here's a toss sweep left. Running with the football is Renal White across the 35 to the 30. Side steps a man and down to the 28-yard line. Tackle made by Doug Whaley. The Tech offensive line is controlling. The First and 10 for the Hokies on the pit 28. The Panthers have not forced a punt in this game. Here is a first down option to the left side. DeShazo pitching it late. On the run, catching it is Renal White. Down to the pit 23-yard line and out of bounds on the 20. It's another gain of eight yards on the play. Sumner made the tackle. Hokies are on their way to a star-like offensive total here. Second and two on the Pittsburgh 20-yard line. Here's a running play. Right side, Renal White turns the corner. There he goes across the 15 for the first down to the 13-yard line. Mooring made the tackle for the Pitt D14. The backs are in the eye. It's a new set now with Swarm and Tommy Edwards. Sanders in motion right to left. Here's a give to Edwards. Runs across the 10. Huge hole down to the 5. Another gain of 10. Tackle made by Doug Whaley. What a performance by the Virginia Tech offensive line. Show, but Tech's offensive line getting the best of them. Second down. Ball is on the 6-yard line. Hokies got a first down on the 5. Backs are side by side to Shazo. Back to throw. Looking right, throwing into the end zone. Sanders was hit before the ball got there. That'll be an interference call. The pass was incomplete, but Sanders was hit from behind by David Sumner, the sophomore safety on the strong side. It once again, he goes in uh, motion. Here's a handoff up the middle. There goes Swarm, and he's knocked back at the one yard line. Still fighting. Forward progress to the one. Roderick Humphrey of Pittsburgh made the tackle. Second down. Go to goal. Go to go. Here's a running play. Edwards off the left side, barrels his way in. Touchdown, Tommy has done it again. His third touchdown of the game. He ran right over the linebacker into the end zone. Touched. Attempt another extra point. It is all tech so far. Here's the snap, perfect. PAT sails up, and it is good. Virginia Tech 28, Pittsburgh so far here tonight. A lot of time to go. Don't go away as we hear this from Kroger. Six. Ryan Williams will be kicking off the Dietrich Gels of Pittsburgh yet again. Here is another kickoff, and again it is very high, and Gels, who's a great return man, goes back. A great kick this time by Williams at the one-yard line. Gels comes out to the 10, left sideline to the 15, to the 20, and out of bounds. Well, Mike, I've come to a conclusion. I like doing games when the Hope is a true freshman. They run out of a split backfield now. First down and 10 on the 22. First down pass. Ryan rolling right, looking, being pursued. He's in trouble, and he is sacked by Cornell Brown. He got him back at the 16-yard line, and Cornell Brown sacks John Ryan of Pittsburgh. It's a huge loss on the play. Great job there by Cornell Brown. He was closing that gap down very. There they are again. Reuben going up against Cornell. Here's a running play. Curtis Martin tries to turn the corner, cannot do it. Hokies are there to throw him down. Dwayne Knight again throws down Curtis Martin. Panthers 19-yard line. 
Single setback for receivers. Tech shows blitz. Here it comes. Ryan quick throw over the middle. It's incomplete. Nearly intercepted in and out of the arms of the Hokies. Antonio Banks. Another punt coming up for Pittsburgh. And the hoping the punt return. Leon is the punter. He's on his own five-yard line. Tech has enjoyed great field position today thanks to the defense. Or even the return man on his 40. Leon's a terrific punter out of Anaheim, and a senior kicker booms it. Freeman will come up. It's a short kick, and Freeman at the 50. Starts the return near side. Antonio cuts inside of the 45. Penalty marker down on the 44-yard line. Let's pause now. Tech, that punt return for Tech. It was a fumble. Touchdown, 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 touchdown. First down throw to Shazo being pursued. Throws on the run. A good throw, and it's caught by the tight end. Jennings, and he's out of bounds after gaining 12 yards to the pit 43-yard line. George Morick, good throw by Desha. By surprise. First and 10 on the 42-yard line. Backs are in the eye. Sanders comes in motion left to right. Maurice hands the ball off. There's Renal White running behind that offensive line. Tries to get outside, turns the corner, but stepped out of bounds on the pit 40. Moody made the tackle. It's a on the 39-yard line of the Panthers. Hokies have three receivers in the game. Backs are side by side. Tech driving from our right to left. A first down throw for DeShazer running out of the pocket and keeping. Down to the pit 35-yard line, and he steps out of bounds on the 31. That was a second down play. Jay Jones chased Maurice out of Third down and one on the 33-yard line. The backs are in the eye. A double tight end set up. Here's a toss sweep left to Renal White. Sprints to the outside, then cuts up the middle to the 30 for the first down to the pit 29. Great run again, Mike, Renal White. It really was, and that time he was able to see that his blockers have scored touchdowns on their last four possessions. Here's a whistle and the things if you didn't catch all of that. Five-yard penalty against Tech. Hokies have it first down. Up the middle goes Swarm to the 30. Still going to the 25 and down to the 20. What a run by Swarm. Whaley on the tackle. Two tailbacks in there. Tommy Edwards and Renal White. A quick hitter over the middle to White. Has it at the 20. Down to the 15. First down to the pit 11-yard line. Panthers gang tackle there. Another first down. Doug Way. Hokies have it. Uh, first down and 10 on the pit 11. Panthers are showing blitz. Tech looks to score yet again. There's the snap. Maurice, option pitch left. Running with the football. Thomas to the 10. Jumps over a man. Head first to the 6. Gain of six. Maurice Williams again on the tackle for Pitt. This week, 10 solos, and with him out of the game, it makes a big difference. Here's an option play to the left. DeShazo breaks a tackle, still on his feet at the five, breaks another tackle and dives into the end zone. Touchdown, Tech. DeShazo showing why he's one of the nation's best at running the option, takes it into the end zone, and the Hokies are absolutely pummeling Pittsburgh. Great job by DeShazo. He had the good fake to Swarm, who was in the game. He also was able to take it outside there. He didn't pitch it because he saw he could. It will attempt another extra point. 3.12 to go. There's the snap, and Ryan sails it up and through. So with 3.12 to go here in this first half, thousands of Tech fans across the way are loving it. 3.12 to go, first half. It's Virginia Tech 35, Pittsburgh 6, and this is the Virginia Tech Sports Network. But remember that. Bill Roth, Mike Burnoff with you tonight in Pittsburgh. Another kickoff coming to Dietrich Jails of Pittsburgh. He's waiting at the two, takes the high kick from Ryan Williams and runs out of the 10. Jails to the 15, and he's knocked down shy of the 20-yard line again by Dwayne Knight and Okisa Smith. 10 for Pitt on the Panthers' 18-yard line. John Ryan, who the Hokies have really contained at quarterback, takes the snap. Tech is rushing him hard. He's in trouble, and he is sacked. Oh, boy, did the Hokies crush him, Mike. Bernard Basham. Picked Ryan up, and the first thing that hit the ground was the back of his helmet. 30 to go in the first half. Ryan has been sacked twice, once by Basham, once by Cornell Brown. Long count for Pittsburgh, 2.20 to go in the half. Ryan checking off here, Bill. And here is a quick blitz and a throw over the middle, and it's batted down by Henley. Almost had an interception. Ryan threw it right to Henley. It was intended for the crowd over there. They're at least 150 yards away from us, but those Tech fans are making a lot of noise. Okie's coming, blitz again. Here's a drop play, and Martin is knocked down at the 15-yard line. A gain of a yard. Bernard Basham again on the tackle. And some pushing and shoving now. The Pitt offensive line. They've only got three first downs in this game. They've got to be frustrated. Here's the punt by Leon. He's at the one-yard line, and the Hokies have the return set up, and Leon hits a high but very short kick. Freeman calls for the fair catch and takes it on the 45-yard line. So the Hokies will get the ball back. They've scored five straight touchdowns. Now with a minute, the ball is just shy of the pit 49-yard line. 
first and ten for the Hokies. First down play a toss. Tommy Edwards runs left, crosses the 50, has some room. 45 down the sideline for the 40. Still going to the 35-yard line and ahead of the 34. Penalty marker on the play. Williams made the Sylvania, and at 187 pounds, the biggest tech receiver. He's also out of Hargrave Military Academy. First down and 15. DeShazo looks left, throws right. On the run, Edmonds dropped it, nearly picked off as it deflected off of his hands. Incomplete, it'll be second down. DeShazo has two first downs in the game. Is that right? They have three. Three. Second down and 16. Maurice hands it off to Edwards. Crosses the 40 to the 50. Still going at the Pitt 45 yard line down to the 44. Whaley again, the tackle for Pitt, the defensive back. Now timeout has been called by Tech with four. Tech football, third and five on the 45, and the Hokies run a draw play up the middle. There goes Edmonds to the 35-30, still going down to the pit 25-yard line. David Sumner made the tackle, a draw play on third and five, and Edmonds bol uh, bolts his way to the 25. Mike, that is the Hokies' 18th run of five yards or more. They go without a huddle, 39 seconds left in the half. The line of scrimmage is the 25-yard line. DeShazo, first and 10, looking left, throwing it down the left sideline. Freeman is there, but it's tipped away at the last moment. A fine defensive play by the Panthers' corner, Keith Little. 35-6 over Pitt. Second down and 10 on the 25-yard line. Wide side to the left, DeShazo, a straight drop, being pursued, rolling to his right, going to keep it down the sidelines he goes, and he steps out of bounds at the 21-yard line. Hokies play action pass. Backs are in the eye, Pitt blitzes. DeShazo hands the ball off. There goes Edmonds up the middle for the first down to the 14-yard line. And the Hokies will hurry up here. 18 seconds left in the half. Tumulty in the game made the tackle. It's a first down for Tech. Hokies have a timeout left, but would like to save it if they need to set up a field goal. Now they'll wind the clock. The line of scrimmage is the Pittsburgh 14-yard line. Hokies lead 35-6. DeShazo back to pass. The quarterback rolling to his left, looking, throwing. It is caught by Martin. He'll take it in. Touchdown, Tech. Kevin Martin caught it at the five and walked untouched into the end zone. It is another Virginia Tech touchdown. Good Eight job. seconds left in the half. Good job by DeShazo there, Bill. He just read that play perfectly. Martin, the big tight end, came out, set. Your 11 years, is this the most dominating first half you've ever seen? I think so, Bill. Extra point by Williams is up and good. Folks, it is 42 to 6. Not that the Pitt Panthers are the 1983 Pitt team. This is a different Pitt team. But this is almost unimaginable. Eight seconds left first half. Virginia Tech, 42, Pittsburgh. Post game two. <laughs> uh oh. <clears throat> He's going to return this one now. We're in a commercial. Ryan Williams kick. Been a real show for Virginia Tech's offense and their defense as well, giving them good position. Two seconds left. Final play of the half for Pitt is a run. Curtis Martin runs up the middle to the 35-yard line. His biggest gain of the half right there. He got 11 yards, and he's knocked down by Brown. The first half comes to a conclusion. What a display for the guys from the Old Dominion. It is a 42-6 Tech lead here at halftime over the Pitt Panthers. The Hokie fans who are here love it. The Pitt fans are, I'm sure, more stunned than anything else. Tech 42, Pittsburgh 6 at halftime. Now this from Moore's Lumber and Building Supplies. If we don't win this one, I resign. It's all right. You want mine? Yeah. For I'm going to get one on the plane. Yeah, you dog, say that. <laughs> Mike, uh... Yeah, 40, right out. Boy, they'll be happy in Morgantown when they see this score. They hate Pitt down there. a six deficit, it would be historic. But the Hokies want to finish this game strong and get some momentum going into the big game next week at Miami. Here's the second half kickoff. Again, Ryan Williams will boot it. Dietrich Gels will go back and take it in the end zone and take a knee. Ryan Williams boomed that one deep into the end zone about 
Seven yard pit team tried to outscore Tech in the second half and build on that for the Ohio State team, which plays here next Saturday. New quarterback, second half, Ken Ferguson will start for Pittsburgh. He was redshirted last year, played three games in 91. Ferguson, the Texan, rolling right on first down, throws down the field. It's out of bounds and nearly intercepted. It was intended on the near side for the tight end. Back number 28. That's all we know about <laughs> Ken Ferguson. Here's an option pitch by Ferguson. Pummeled as he pitches it. Martin has it across the 30. There he goes, and he slips at the 36-yard line. Antonio Banks had to make the tackle. Ferguson ran the up. Pittsburgh on the Panther 38-yard line. The backs are in the eye. Chad Dukes at the fullback spot. And Martin at the tail. Here's a deflected pass, and it's overthrown after it was tipped at the line of scrimmage. I believe it early moments, quarter number three. Hokies 42, Pittsburgh 6. Single setback now behind the quarterback, Ken Ferguson. Hokies show blitz. Ferguson changes the play. Hokies drop back into zone. Ferguson throws, and it's short hopped, I believe. Did he catch it? They're going to rule it a good catch at the 46-yard line by O'Neal. Third and two, Panthers go out of a power eye, and Ferguson hands the ball to Martin, who leaps forward. Cornell Brown stops him near the first down marker. It'll be very, very close. Tex 58, Cornell Brown. They go head-to-head -head on this play. Fourth down and inches on the 47. Here's the snap. Ferguson pitching it behind Martin, makes a good catch, runs for the first down across the 50 and down to the Tech 48-yard line. Dwayne Knight made the tackle. Good play, Mike, by the Tech 49-yard line. Hokies leading 42-6, to six. early going second half. A throw for Ferguson. In the pocket, he is sacked by Basham, coming in late, and Basham throws down Ferguson. Second sack of the night for Bernard, and the third sack overall by the Tech defense. And 45, Dozier out of first Colonial High School in Virginia Beach, suffered a stroke back in 1988, but has battled back. Here's an option play. Running with the near side is Curtis Martin across the 50, pushed out of bounds. Oh, the Hokies hit him late. Is there a penalty? No. Oh, the Hokies may have gotten a break there. Stacy Henley and Okisa Smith. Good no call. Third and eight for Pittsburgh on the Hokies 47 yard line. Again, Drakeford not in the game. Smith is there. Here's a throw to the near sideline, and it's incomplete. Intended for the flanker, Bill Davis, out of El Paso. And he punted for 49 yards. He, he was quite a weapon in that game. Fourth down and eight. Freeman, the return man, on his own 10-yard line. A high snap, but Leon kicks it. Freeman, looking up into the nighttime sky in Pittsburgh, calls for the fair catch and makes it on the 20. So the Hokies will start their first possession of the second half. Hokies have scored touchdowns on six straight possessions here tonight. And here's their first second half possession. First down run, Dwayne Thomas off the right side. Crosses the 15, gets to the 19-yard line. Panthers gang and tackle him there. Jason Chavis, the sophomore inside line. Warm and Edmonds at the fullback. So they've used just about everybody they have on the trip in terms of playing everybody. Here's a running play. Joe Swarm gets a good block from Sanders and runs out to the 29-yard line near a first down to the 30. To Pittsburgh 6. Early moments, quarter number 3. Quarterback DeShazo runs a toss right. There's Dwayne Thomas running to the 35, still going to the 40, still going to the 50. Thomas breaks it. There he goes in open field to the 30. Dwayne Thomas is going to take this baby all the way. Touchdown, Tech. A 70-yard run for Dwayne Thomas. Puts him over the century mark and puts the Hokies perilously close to 50 points. 70 yards, Dwayne Thomas. And what a great run it was over the right side. Williams will attempt the extra point. And Ryan, who has been perfect tonight, sails it through again. So again, five minutes in the and pit six. Now let's hear this from Kroger. Well, Dwayne Thomas with a career high 139 yards rushing tonight after that 70 yard TD. Ryan Williams will kick off back to the Panthers. This one is a low line drive, and it's fielded by an up man. Running it back is Billy West, and he runs to the 30 yard line, and Henley knocks him down there. Rather, Dwayne Knight again on another special team. Flat putting it on Pitt. This is going to be a humbling defeat for Pitt, one of their worst ever in the history of their program, and one of the worst ever at this stadium, it appears. First and 10 on the 31 yard line. They were beat here by West Virginia last season, 44 to 6. Here's a first down throw. Ferguson throws it into the near sideline. It is caught by Junior Green. The split end, and he runs across the 40 to the 43-yard line. Ken a lot of new people. 
First and 10 on the 44. Ferguson, a play action pass, steps up, throws right side. It's a quay, uh, duck, but it's caught anyway by Gels at the 40, and he's down to the Tech 32 yard line. Dozier made the tackle for Virginia 34 yard line. 9.41 to go. Hokies and Pitt. Here's a running play and a good trap. And Curtis Martin rumbles through to the 30 to the 20. Still going at the 15. And Dozier helps trip him up along with McClung at the 15-yard line. First down, 14. Ken Ferguson, the backup quarterback who started this third quarter for Pitt, has them up on the line of scrimmage, which is the 14. An option pitch. Martin on the 20. Turns the corner. Sidestep Dozier. And the Hokies gang tackle him and knock him down out of bounds. J.C. Price made the tackle. And Draper along with Henley. Second down and three. Ball is on the seven-yard line of Tech. Here's a running play, and Martin this time is knocked down from behind. J.C. Price in there for the Hokies. First and second teamers in there. Third and three on the seven. Ball in the middle of the field. Ferguson back to pass, looking, and the pass is 49-6. Tech leading. Pitt faces third and eight after an illegal procedure penalty. And a lob into the end zone by Ryan, and it is caught. Touchdown. They went right at Drakeford, and they got a lob into the end zone for the touchdown, and Pittsburgh has scored on the touchdown catch by Junior Green. Looks like Ferguson, the quarterback, two receivers to the right, two to the left. They've spread the Hokies out all across the field. Two-point attempt. Ferguson rolling right and looking. He throws. It's deflected and incomplete. So the two-point conversion fails. Ferguson now it's a power eye formation for Pitt. The ball is on the one-and-a-half-yard line. Two-point conversion attempt for the Panthers. The quarterback, Ferguson, right up into the center, takes the snap, turns, option left. A pitch to Martin, tries to run to the pylon, and he makes it. Two-point conversion attempt around the left end for Martin. It is 49 to 49-14. Pittsburgh scores eight. How far was the touchdown pass, Ferguson to Junior Green? Uh, I think it was. The two-point conversion here midway through this third quarter. They now trail the Hokies 49-14. And they'll kick the ball back to Tech. It's a high kick. Waiting for it here is uh, Edwards. Yes, Tommy Edwards going to run this one back. And he comes to the 10, to the 15 and 20. Stiff arms man to the near sidelines. Edwards running sidelines out of bounds. Across the 35 to the 37-yard line. The kicker, Cal Manith. The backs are in the eye behind DeShazo, who's gone all the way. How long will he play? Well, we'll find out. This is actually Druckenmiller, isn't it? Yes, my mistake again. Druckenmiller, the quarterback, turns and hands the ball off. Around the right side of the 40-yard line goes the tailback. Now also, and that was a good run, eight-yard gain on the play. DeShazo finishes the night, eight out of 13, 137. Second down and short, another running play. Edmonds, stiff arms a man, fighting his way towards the first down, running left, dives to the 44. Give it to him. Okie's on another running play, give it up the middle, oh. and a fumble football, and is loose, rolling towards the sidelines, but recovered by Pitt. So the Hokies fumbled, and Doug Whaley recovered it. Ryan Edmonds fumbles, second tech turnover. Ian Gray is in at free safety now for Virginia Tech. Scott Jones and... Okisa Smith are the corners. First and 10, and a running play, and Curtis Martin runs across the 45, still on his feet at the 40. There he goes, Curtis Martin down the sidelines. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown pick. 49-yard run, Curtis Martin. And the Panthers have scored two touchdowns in less than two minutes. It is 49. Kalmanithas will kick. This will bring them to within four touchdowns. And the PAT is on the way, and it is good, but a penalty marker was down on the play. It's getting at least mildly interesting. 49-21 is the score. Hokies have the lead, and this timeout now. We have a book here, illegal participation. Hokies had 12 men on the field. That's a 15-yard penalty. Pitt kicks off from the 50, and they hit a high chip shot. Could be tough to field. Look out, hits at the 10. Loose football, rolling out of bounds. Let's see what happened. It went out of bounds without anyone touching it, I think. That's why there's a penalty marker down. Boy, that play is a very odd one. Yes, Hokies will take it on the 50 because of the 15-yard penalty went out of bounds, so they spotted it on the 20. They moved the sticks back from the 35. First down for Tech on the 20-yard line. First down play, Dwayne Thomas running, and he's hit as soon as he gets to the line. The scrimmage by Roderick Humphrey of Pittsburgh. 5.48 to go to. Still wide right, wide, wide left. Here's a running play and Swarm, the fullback, rambles up the middle, crosses the 30-yard line near a first down. Whaley again the tackle to CR. The Hokies have it on their own 30-yard line. 
And the Hokies run the ball to Swarm, and he dives across to the 31-yard line right behind Jim Pine. Tim Johnson is in the defensive tackle now for Pitt, a little-used player. First and 10 on the 31 for the Hokies. Toss sweep near side, running Dwayne Thomas across the 35, runs right over the linebacker, crosses the 40 to the 42-yard line. Maurice Williams on the Hokies' 44-yard line. Wide side of the football field is to the right to Shazo. On first down, hands it off. And up the middle, very little gain this time for Thomas as Hayes Clark makes the tackle. X are in the eye, second down and nine. Long count now for the Tech quarterback, Maurice DeShazo. Here's a toss sweep near side, running as Thomas crosses the 45, gets to the 50, a penalty marker down. Thomas gets to the 49, own 37-yard line, and DeShazo, who was pulled from the game earlier in this quarter, Replaced by Drucken, Miller is back in. Third and long, DeShays over the middle, lets it fly, and Sanders makes a sliding catch at the 50. Sliding grab right over the middle. Option play, left side, Maurice pitches. Thomas has it at the 50, spinning it his way down to the 40. A first down to the 38-yard line. A magnificent run once more for Dwayne Thomas. Sumner made the tackle on the Tech redshirt sophomore from Fort Myers, Florida, and Bishop Faro High School. Points. On record, 56 at Florida State in 73. Here's a running play down to the 35-yard line. Just shy of it goes Tommy Edwards on this first down. The Hokie offense has done what they needed to do. They've sustained a drive here and got back in pit territory, gotten back on track. Second and eight, the ball is on the 36-yard line of Pittsburgh. Wide side is to the right. Hokies driving from our right to left. A second down throw for DeShazo, looking deep. Let's it fly for Sanders. He's there. He's got it. It's a first down and goal to go as DeShazo hits Sanders at the two-yard line. First down, Tech. Great play. Great throw from DeShazo. He checked off on that play. He saw that they had man coverage. Sanders. That was a direct quote. Here's a running play. Tommy Edwards runs up the middle, untouched, into the end zone. Touchdown, Tech. Tommy Edwards, his fourth touchdown of the game. First Hokie since Cyrus Lawrence did it in 1982 against William and Mary. And the Hokies, folks, have crossed the 50 mark. It is 55-21. They can tie a school record for points in a road game. If now Ryan to attempt the PAT, and the kick is up, and it is good. There it is, 56. 56 to 21, Virginia Tech. And there it's first team offense in the game. They scored two quick touchdowns. Frank Beamer responded. He put the Shazo back in, and boom, Hokies gets. He just, he just has to know he, he can, can't go anything more than like 50 seconds. Joe. Pass to Sanders, which got him first and goal to two, and Edwards took it in. Here's Ferguson to throw on first down for Pitt over the middle, and it's incomplete. Intended over there for the flanker. And forth. Where bring, was this bring game us, played? Bringing us some notes. The most points scored by Tech on the road, 73 against Catholic University. Here's an option play to the left side, and Curtis Martin, oh, Cornell Brown hammers him and knocks him out of bounds. Slight gain on the, he is running up and down this hallway. We'll 1922, now, now what position did you play in that game, Mike? I was in my dreams with you. Here's an option play. Martin has the pitch. He's being pursued by Marcus McClung and Yarborough. They meet him, and they drive him down. The Hokies defense tracking down Curtis Martin. Mike, he's the only folks Hokies in control. Let's hear this now from State Farm Insurance. 57 in a commercial. Tex Antonio Freeman returning a punt to start the fourth quarter, crosses the 50, running into pit territory and takes it to the 40. Hokies will start there, first and 10. A lot of union product takes over on the pit 40-yard line, first down and 10 for the visiting Virginia Tech Hokies. First down play is a run. Running with it is Brian Edmonds. He runs down to the 37-yard line before unless Hugh Green comes out of the tunnel, right? <laughs> with Tony Dorsett. Yeah. Here's a running player, and all white crosses the 35 down to the 34. I'll tell you who has to get some credit, Mike. Guy by the next staff, they put together a tremendous game plan. Now, Druckenmiller may have to throw it. The line of scrimmage is the pit 38 yard line, and Druckenmiller on a draw play hands the ball off to Edmonds, crosses the 35, sprints outside, first down to the pit 30, and he's knocked down to the 26 yard line by Denorse Mosley. Another allowed 70 at home. If you're wondering, here's a play and a run. And Renal White stops on a dime at the 30, turns on the speed, crosses the 20 down to the 18-yard line. Near a first down again. 
Hayes close to run to. 12-15 to go in the game. We'll take a station break when we can here. It's the bottom of the hour. Line of scrimmage is the 19. Here's a running play. Renault right, running left, crosses the 15 to the 10, still on his feet. And he goes head first down near the six-yard line. Another first down. Denorse Mosley. First down and goal. Ball is on the six-yard line. The Hokies about to set a new record, it appears, for points on the road. Here's a run up the middle. There goes Edmonds down to the three-yard line. It'll be second and goal on the three. Second down goal to go on the two-yard line. Tommy Edwards is going to get it again. Not in the game, no. And the Hokies hand the football off. Up the middle. Touchdown, Tech. And that gives Tech 62. Renal White, a two-yard touchdown run attempt by Ryan Williams. Pitt has never allowed 70 points at the stadium. That might be something to shoot for. The PAT is up and good, and it is 63 that shattered all the Beamer era records and going for some all-time school records here tonight. Before we tell you about the records, let's get a score update. Here's Chris Lawrence at Tech Network Control. Can you get him? Ryan Williams will kick off yet again by far his busiest night. Dietrich Gels again will return at this time from the five-yard line in the middle of the field. Comes up the middle to the 10. Hokies chase him. Vernon Dozier going to track him down and wrestle him to the turf on the 24-yard line. Well, Renal White, one-yard run. 10.50 to go in the game. This is a very, very embarrassing night for Pitt, but a happy one for Tech. Here's a running play and a new runner for Pittsburgh running around the left end. The tailback has two yards or three. Chris win this game. So I think it's good from that standpoint that you can get your second teamers more to playing time. Here's a penalty marker thrown, and the ball carrier crosses the 35 for Pitt to the 37. McClung on the tackle. Through Hokies should get that tonight if they get another possession or two. Here's a running play, and once again, Chris Patton on second and 11. Runs are behind him. 9-14 to go in the game. The Panthers have converted few thirds. Here's a toss sweep left. Patton running, gets back to the line of scrimmage, ahead for a yard and knocked down. Panthers want this one to end. They're just running the ball. It's Ohio State TV game, I believe. Yep, and the Hokies, of course, have a big one at Coral at uh, the Orange Bowl against Miami. Fourth down, here's the punt. It's a high kick. Freeman at the 32, going to try to run it back. Fumbled the punt and falls on it on the 34-yard line. So the Hokies will start there with 8.31 to go in the game. Hey, Washington's in. A lot of new faces now in that offensive line. TJ's out of Bird High School in Richmond. First and 10 on the 34-yard line. Here's a toss sweep to Tommy Edwards. Runs across the 35 to the 40. And one man tried to fight him down and did. Pushed him backwards for Pittsburgh, who's 63 to 21. Drucken Miller, the QB, hands it off to the fullback. Up the middle goes Edmonds to the 40. Rather, Raphael Williams that time, not Edmonds. Colley, the Tech punter. Third and four on the 40-yard line. Drucken Miller, a straight drop, looking right, zings it near sideline, and it's not near anybody. It almost hit Johnny Majors. So he is the return man, and Robbie Colley, who averaged 39 and 7 tenths yards per kick last week, will punt it away back to Pitt. It's a very high kick. Mosley, the return man, watches it hit at the 25, and Andy Miller of Tech downs it at the 29. 7.07 to go in the game, and Tech leading at 63. First down for Pitt on the 30-yard line. And there goes the runner across the 30. He's tripped up by Mo Road. A Johnny Majors coach Pitt. I don't say bad about those VMI guys. Now, they did a heck of a job. They beat Tech one year. I know they right, did. Right around that time. Here's another running play. And across the 40-yard line goes the tailback to the 45-yard line. Here's another running play, and the fullback Dukes goes to the 50 and into Tech territory to the 49-yard line before Stacy Head. We'll hear from Coach Beamer, of course, after the game, and then the scores in your calls. Here's a running play once again. The tailback crosses the 46 to the 45. That's Billy West once again. Tory and Gray in there to bring him down, along with Anna. <laughs> it's about 60. Oh no way. 58. <laughs> Here's a running play again for West, and he runs off the right tackle. Hokies are there to bury him. And those guys. And Late scores from Chris, and then your phone calls. First and 10 for Pitt on the Tech 44. 4.30 to go in the game. Ferguson back to throw, throwing over the middle, and the pass is broken up beautifully by Scott Jones. A post pattern over the, the Orange Bowl. Second and 10, ball is on the 44-yard line of Virginia Tech. West again runs, up the middle he goes, and Tech is there to knock him down. On go, Johnny, go. I know. Well, they can oh. ask him to go, go, go. <laughs> First and uh, rather third down, and here's a running play. Running around the left end for Pittsburgh again Fumble. is Miles Davis. He did drop it. Do the Hokies have it? If it 
is ruled a fumble. He may have been down, though. Let's see. They're going to stop the clock. Nope. Yep, Hokey tech ball. ball. Miles Davis at the guard spot. And Jay Haygood over there on the left side of tackle. First down and 10 for Virginia Tech. 340 to go in the game. And Kenny Landrum out of Lynchburg running with the ball. And he crosses the 40 to the 43. Well, Mike, the great battle between game is a glowing example of the great high school football programs in the Lynchburg, Virginia area. This is an absolute jewel night for the city of Lynchburg. Here's Landrum. He's from Lynchburg, crosses the 40 to the 45-yard line, a gain of about two, knocked down by Hayes Clark. Pole, but it has been Druckenmiller backing up DeShazo. Third and four for Tech on the 45-yard line. Jim Druckenmiller takes the snap, hands the football off, and across the 50-yard line, for the Hokies. Effort, a great job by the offensive line, just a smothering defense, never gave Pitt a chance. First and 10, here's Kenny Landrum, crosses the 50, down to the Pitt 45, still on his feet to the 44-yard line, and he's knocked down by the Panthers, Denoris Mosley on the bench, just watching a minute 31 to go in this game. Long count now by the quarterback, Jimmy Drunkenmiller, waited for that play clock to get to six, throws it over the middle, and the pass is caught by Landrum at the Pittsburgh 35-yard line. Minute 18 to go in the game on second wide to the right. Tim Wade is the center. Tim snaps the ball to Druckenmiller. A straight drop looking over the middle. Let's it fly and it's deflected incomplete right through the hands of Wilkins. Flash to give Druckenmiller a little bit of experience at throwing the old football. Here's a running play to Landrum on third and 10. Kenny around the left side of the 40, down the sidelines, 30. Turns on the Jets, and he's knocked out of bounds inside the pit, 20 to the 19-yard line. Kenny Landrum nearly ran ball on the ball here. No need to rub it in. First and 10 on the 19-yard line now for the Hokies. And they run it up the middle. Shane Miles gets down to the 15-yard line. Clock running, Hokies will have Here's the last play of the game, barring a penalty. And it's a give to Miles, and he goes up the middle, and that should do it. Shane is knocked down at the 15. The final score here tonight, the Virginia Tech Hokies 63, and the University of Pittsburgh Panthers 21. The Hokies certainly spoiling Johnny Major's home debut. He walks in in the middle of the field to shake hands with Tech's coach Frank Beamer. It was 63-21, and already they have turned the scoreboard out in Pittsburgh. This is one they'll want to forget, but one the Tech fans will remember for a long time. 63-21 was the final score. Back with more after this on the Virginia Tech Sports Network.